Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Since the new Lego Friends look happened this year in 2018, I have been intending to tweak Mia's hair because on all the box art and on the cartoons that they've released for these new girl looks, for these new looks for the girls, her hair is actually ginger. It's more ginger than this Albany color that she already had before. And now I know that only a ginger can call a ginger ginger, but we're gonna make her hair ginger, which is almost orange. Look at that, this color. So we're gonna need paint. This is where we're gonna start. We are going to make Mia's hair match the color on the box art. So what we're gonna need first, obviously, is some paint. So let's see, this is, that is pretty close. So we'll take this off so we don't end up painting the rest of Mia accidentally and put it here on my painting pole. And well, let's get a layer of this orange paint on. And let's make her a ginger, not a ninja, but a ginger. And if I had been sensible, I would have put a base coat of white on underneath this orange so that so that I wouldn't need so many coats. But <laughs> it looks like we're going to need a few coats of the orange to be able to cover over successfully the auburn color. But that's OK. That's all right. So this it doesn't need to be perfect. It's going on nice and smoothly. We'll get our first coat on and then we will let it dry and then we'll put another couple of layers on, hopefully only one more layer needed, and then we'll see whether it matches and most importantly, see whether it actually suits Mia because her new freckles are actually a lighter color than her old freckles and we'll, we'll see whether it actually works. I, I, I'm curious why Lego didn't decide to make her hair mold a new color to go with the new look Lego friends. And maybe, maybe it just didn't suit very well. So we're gonna find out. But first up, we gotta finish painting. So that looks like, that looks like as good as it's gonna get for our first coat of paint. So we will put that away to dry. Oh, and I've got my paints out. So why don't we give all of the Lego friends girls another look, just kind of a, a different look. It won't necessarily match them or suit them, but it, it'll just be fun. We'll do some hair painting. So Olivia, Olivia, oh, I know what I'll do. I've got this blue hair that I painted for my Mal mini doll and it's not very vibrant and I don't actually like it, but I do have some metallic blue paint. So I'm gonna put a layer of this over the top of the blue that I already had there and it, oh gosh, it looks so lush. Look at that. Oh, I think I love the metallic hair. I might have to do a whole series of girls with metallic hair. Oh, I wonder what different metallic paints I have. That looks spectacular. Oh, I love it. I love it. Make sure you write in the comments if you want me to do a whole series of metallic hair for the girls. Hmm. Oh, that looks really great. Okay. We'll find out how it looks when it dries though. That's always the test. All right. Who's next? Let's see. Stephanie. Stephanie. Uh, I actually don't like Stephanie's hair mold very much, but it, it kind of cries out stripes to me. So we're going to make it stripy, but before we put some striped colors on it, we're going to make the base layer this gorgeous aqua color. And kind of, well, is it aqua or is it turquoise? It's turquoise. It's light. A light turquoise. And then we're going to add some stripes to it. And that's actually a nice thick paint too. That's doing really well at covering covering the existing color. But it's much easier, obviously, to paint over a light color than it is to paint over a dark color. Oh, that looks nice too. Such luscious color. I'm trying to get the paint out of the holes and I'm not succeeding. I might have to uh, just poke that out later when it's dry. Andrea, I'm gonna use Andrea's hairpiece as a practice for Uma's cotillion dress, which I am working on. And I'm gonna take our existing turquoise here and actually make it lighter by adding white and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make the braid across the front nice and rich coloured. And the rest of it, I'm just going to kind of try and dry brush over the, the top bits, like a relief, like a relief painting-y sort of thing, kind of. So it just looks as though the tops have been chalked. They're put with chalk colour on them. I don't honestly know how this is going to look when it's finished or how it's going to turn out. But it's not doing too badly at the moment. I need to use the flat edge of my brush so that I don't end up in all those grooves because I want to stay on the top, just on those little top creases. No, not in the creases, <laughs> on the top. Oh, that looks pretty cool. 
Okay. A little bit more up here and definitely some more across the front just to really make that stand out, that braid that's pulled across the front. Oh, now I think that's probably a little bit too much because I can't see the definition of the braid anymore. Oh, uh, no, it looks all right. It looks okay. Okay. All right, Emma. Emma, let's do something a bit interesting with Emma's. Let's put, let's put a base layer of this really luscious, thick, rich pink. And then let's do a bit like we did with Andrea's and just get some purple on, on the bits on the top, on, the, on that textured bit. So it kind of looks like it's bicolored. So it'll be pink in the creases, but purple on the outside where it catches the light. <laughs> I wonder if that'll work. Oh, and my base layer here is not as thick as I would have liked. See, so hard to cover over a dark color. I should know better, but that's okay. I will end up putting another layer on that to make it nice and rich. All right, Mia's hair is dry. So time to speed up another application of paint to this hair. It's such a bright, sunshiny, happy color. I really like this orange. Oh, it's gorgeous. And another layer here on Emma's hair, which is also dry. Have to make sure that the base layer is completely dry before you paint over it, otherwise you're gonna run into trouble. And this paint thankfully dries pretty fast as long as you don't put it on too thick. And this one looks good. So, stripes. Let's put some of that pink that we already put on Emma's hair, let's stripe it into Stephanie's hair. Oh, okay. This is, Looks all right, it is not going on as thickly as I had hoped to. This is also gonna need a couple of layers, but it looks pretty funky. This is fun, I like painting stripes under Stephanie's hair. <laughs> I don't know how she'll feel about it, but I like it. <laughs> what do you think? It's cute, pink streaks. Okay, we'll put some down the back too. We'll go all out. pretty good. I will stop fiddling with that now and wait for it to dry, which it now is. And now I want to put some blonde back in, some bright yellow streaks just to really break up the blue and the pink because I think these three colors just look almost <laughs> unicorny and, and just beautiful. Oh, I'm going to need to do a couple of layers of this yellow as well. Look at that. That is not going on thickly or smoothly. But you can, you can get an idea of how it's going to look when it's finished. It's going to look so fun. I'm sure Stephanie's going to love it. <laughs> All right, that is fabulous. Now let's go and put those purple tinty bits, highlights, don't know quite what you would call these, onto Emma's hair. So the pink is actually the underlay. And this bit on the top that's all pulled back, we're going to colour all that in purple. And there we are. And we'll go down the plait a little bit too so that that's better defined. Oh, that's cute. That's very funky. make it a bit richer down around the bottom and I don't know what you would call that but I think it's fun and colorful and you can never have too much color awesome all right that is now dry they're all dry let's put them on the girl so Emma's is already here waiting so we might as well put hers on first and purple is obviously one of her colors and it looks really good that's fun for a change <laughs> <laughs> what do you think she thinks? I have no idea what she thinks. She's still smiling, so I think she's not too horrified. Mia. So this was the reason we even came here today, was to do Mia's hair. Let's see whether it goes. Because look at those 
look at her, her freckles. It has to match her freckles, right? I think that looks great. I really do. I really like that. It could do with a little bit of light and shade, so a little bit of highlight maybe in those high bits, but I'll fiddle with that later, I think. And Andrea, let's see how hers turned out. Mm, not too bad. It's not quite the same colour to match that aquary colour in her skirt, which is what I was intending originally to go to. But what do you think? Is that a is that a fail or is it a win? I'm not convinced. I think it looks all right. And let's see, Olivia's hair. I'm I'm gonna love this because the metallic is just awesome. If I can get it on, the metallic matches the the metallic of her glasses. <laughs> That's spectacular. <laughs> I love things that are shiny. It's all shiny now. <laughs> oh, all right. And Stephanie, are you ready, Stephanie, for your unicorn hair? <laughs> Look at that. Well, it needs some sparkle and then it would definitely be unicorn hair. But the stripes are so nice. Oh, she looks like a lollipop. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. I love their new do's. <laughs> None of them are really everyday looks apart from Mia's, but it's fun to do new things and try stuff out with your hair. Now make sure you let me know in the comments what you thought of the colours <laughs> and whether you think Mia's hair works. Because I do, but you might not, so you're welcome to let me know. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you click the little notification button. Make sure you check out some of my other videos while you wait for a new one which will be coming up very soon. Bye!